bring your lesson to life using layering, cropping, and editing. Let's start with capturing the images. Images off the screen can be captured from all sources, either within its own viewer screen or through custom selection. Tapping the camera icon captures the entire viewer screen and creates a new image. To customize your capture, tap the bottom arrow for your toolbar. Select the dotted box icon in the center. Drag the box to your desired location and resize. Here you can see that your selection can be duplicated, emailed, or printed. Tap the camera icon and your selection will appear as a new image. This process works for media from any source, internet browser, screen sharing, USB, and wired or wireless connections. Once you have the image on your roll, you have more options for manipulating on the top right of its window. From left to right, we have capture to duplicate the viewer screen, layer to lock the image onto the roll, rotate, image placement options such as top corners and full screen, and X will close the viewer. You can also drag either bottom corner to resize your image. If you decide to layer your image onto the roll, tap the layer icon. Now the image is locked to that location on that page of the roll. You can still notate and highlight, but it is not restricted to the image or source window. The image can still be duplicated using the capturing tool from the toolbar, and the additional icon allows you to cut and move layered images. Layered images also can be erased. If you want to be able to write over the screen without layering, go to the toolbar and select the annotation mask icon. This puts a mask over the entire screen which allows you to write over, but does not allow image manipulation. When done, you're given an option to save your annotated layer as a separate image and return to the original, now unannotated role.